Insecurity. No politician funding bandits. They are fighting due to long-term neglect, says Shekai Gumi. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to air this morning. As our headline for this morning says that concerning the insecurity, no politician is funding bandits. They are fighting due to the long-term neglect, says Shekai Gumi. A prominent Islamic cleric from Kaduna State, Shekai Ahmed Gumi, has reported claims that politicians are funding the Ongumi unrest in northern Nigeria, particularly in the northwest region where insecurity has worsened in recent years. Despite numerous attacks by bandits and other criminal elements, including the killings of the monarch of Guba in Sokoto State, Gumi insists that political involvement is not the blame. Back in 2021, Imo State Governor Hoop Utodima alleged that politicians were behind banditry sweeping part of the country. However, in an interview with, Sun, um, with Saturday Punch, Gumi dismissed this allegation as baselessness and lacking intelligence. The cleric said, this is an unintelligent allegation. No politician is sponsoring these people. We are all victims. The opposition is not even behind this. This is a natural reaction of people neglected for centuries without education. Now they are exposed to the world and they want education. These people are exposed to the internet and they see how much they are deprived. They want to fight back. This, this act is not by anybody. Gumi also highlighted, highlighted the growing desire for education and better future among the affected communities. We went to village between Abuja and Kaduna and we built schools for headsmen. To our surprise, over 600, 600, 600 of them with their families have started schooling there. They told us that they, want, that they do not want their children to be like them. Imagine if we did that around all the country, he said. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline to do this morning. We says here that insecurity, no politicians funding bandits, they are fighting due to long-term neglect, says Shekai Gumi. And of course, you had it for me this morning, and if you're not a subscriber, the best you can actually do right now is to tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on the video to get more updates concerning this engineer's future to come. Well, Shekai Gumi is right here right now saying that there's no, act there's no, act there's no politician that is actually funding all his bandit bandits. They are fighting due to the long-term neglect. Is that so? To me, I don't believe that's so. To me, I don't believe that's so. There are some politicians that are actually funding these bandits. Yes, we know them. Yes, of course, the bandits are also fighting for long-term neglect. But ah, ah, can't you be? Can't you? Can't you guys use your eyes and open that? Bandits are holding MK14s, uh, machine guns, LMGs, weapons that even the Nigerian army guns serve. They, they, you, you, you really see it with them. Yes, they are holding all these weapons that even the Nigerian army guns said before they hold them. Mm. And now Shekai Gumi, he, he refuted the claim that politicians are funding the ongoing protests in the northern Nigeria. Or is this, or is this man trying to just uh, cover up for the northern politicians or what? Or what? It all, he also said this in an interview with Saturday Punch. He dismissed the allegation as baseless and lacking intelligence. He said that all those people that are saying that the northern governors are actually funding insecurity, it is baselessness and lack of intelligence. Well, what is the reason of why, why these people are killing? Shekai Gumi said that the reason why these people are doing what they are doing is that, is that this is an, he says the quote of these people are uneducated, first of all, and like they have been, what's the word? Neglected. He feels that these people have been neglected in a very serious way that Nigerians are forgotten about them. To the extent that they didn't even develop their act, they didn't develop their side, like they didn't develop their towns and their villages. Chaga Gumi now uses Abuja as an example. He says that was that some years some it was some years ago they built um schools in some villages in Abuja. And to his surprise, 600 both men and women and children enrolled to that school because the women and children said that they don't want their kids to be like these armed robbery, armed, armed robbers. Uh, to be like, not just armed robbers, to be like these bandits. And Shekai Gumi says that when these bandits do not take the, the phones and look at the internet and see how they have been de deprived, like they, have, like, they, 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 like they took education away from them, they took all these fancy things away from them, like look at look at where they are, look at, look at the citadel of Nigeria. That, that is why they turn, that, that is why they do what they do. See, it is a natural thing in humans to feel that way. To me, I don't think it's natural. 
I don't think think it's natural at all. Going under the comment section, under the side, and um, Kanu Fidel said that Gumi is a man of double standards. Outwardly, he appears a saint, but inwardly, he is revealing is a raving wolf, a man who knows the bandits by name and character, and have the power to negotiate with them on behalf of the federal government. Is not far from being the bandit patron. Abio. Someone like Gumi Gonsev is not far from being the bandit patron. He's not far from being one of those that also sponsors the bandits. Nicholas Opola says that Tinubu is not ready to address all these killings. He said it that he was going to continue from where Buhari stopped, but we thought he was joking. And that, 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 that's not even the solution that now. The solution is Tinubu waking up from that sleep that he's sleeping and actually stop all these insecurity problems that is exploding the southeast. At this, at this, not, not just the southeast, the north Nigeria as a, as a whole, or, or even the northwest. Just, let, let's just say Nigeria as, as a whole. Because insecurity was to kill us in Nigeria. Yes. Insecurity was to kill, kill us in Nigeria. And Chagai Gumi saying that politicians, are, politicians are, are not actually funding them. So where, where, are those, where are all those bandits seeing money for ammunition, for all those high-tech like high tech weapons? Where are they seeing the money? Or where are they seeing all those weapons from? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button to be great on with the notification bell. So anytime I have a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.